What's up, everybody? Drew Chessor, Human Gamer Chessor here. Um, thank you so much for being patient with me as I try to create new content for this channel, which which is still ongoing. But needless to say, it'll come soon. Because right now. I want to talk about the college football playoffs. Um, the best time of year for college football fans, I like to believe. I hope so. Um, so, recently, after Championship Saturday, uh, the college football committee came out with the final four. The teams that will play each other in the College football playoffs on New Year's Eve. Uh, let's go over them real quick. Okay, so... Did I pause that? Okay, no. We'll, we'll just continue. Okay, so... Number one is... No surprise... Alabama. Yes, so Nick Saban has led the Crimson Tide to another... SCC... Championship and another number one spot in the college football playoffs. So that I can always respect. I respect Nick Saban, respect Crimson Tide, love that team. Number two is a relative newcomer to the college football playoffs, Michigan. Finally, Jim Harbaugh has led the Michigan Wolverines to a successful season. I know earlier this year, everybody had high hopes for them wondering if they were actually going to be good or just, well, like they were in years past, good, but never really able to beat any big powerhouse teams. And then they lost to Michigan State, earlier this year, and I think that was the moment everyone gave up on them, but Arbor and the Wolverines were like, no way, we ain't done yet. And they proved us wrong by beating uh, Ohio State on, on Thanksgiving weekend. And earning, and then following that win up with a win over Iowa for the Big Ten Conference Championship. So, Michigan has earned that number two spot. Michigan has earned and they deserve that number two spot. Number three in college football rankings is... Georgia. Once again, the Georgia Bulldogs go into the season looking so promising and then they continue to lose to teams that are actually good. In this case, Alabama in the SEC Championship game. And yet, they, the college football community decided they were good enough to be ranked number three. I do not think Georgia deserves a shot. I do believe, um, I know people are probably going to kill me for saying this, but I think Notre Dame deserves to be in that spot. I don't care if Notre Dame has didn't play in a championship game this season, they deserve to be in a college football playoffs. Georgia continues to fail again. I, I, personally, I think Georgia is turning into the next Michigan. They're good, but they, they're they not good. They're not a powerhouse. Like, I don't know. Alabama, LSU when they won back in 2019, um, Clemson over years past, except for, well, 
last year. Well, except for this year, I mean. So, Georgia, I don't know. What can you say? And last but not least, the number four team in the college football playoffs is the University of Cincinnati. They won their division. They won their conference championship against Houston. I, I don't remember the uh, conference it plays. Is this the American Championship? American Conference? Conference USA or something like that? I, I don't know. But Cincinnati becomes the first team outside the Power Five conferences to earn the berth in college football playoffs. Despite, I mean, I respect it, but does Michigan really deserve it? Now, they could be like Ohio State in years past, just pretty much destroying everyone in the past, not just barely picking up wins, actually destroying them, slaughtering them. I mean, Ohio State this year, they beat Michigan State 49 to nothing at halftime. And this was a ranked Michigan State team. So, yeah, so my arms in the way there. Should I pause that? Um, so, Cincinnati is the wild card in my book. Can they hang with Alabama? No. Cincinnati's not exactly where you would call a powerhouse. So, so, New Year's Eve, when Alabama and Cincinnati play each other, it's going to be real interesting to see if Cincinnati can live up to the hype. Meanwhile, you got Georgia versus Michigan, and honestly, I hope Michigan wins. Because I do not want to see another Alabama versus Georgia national championship game. Because we all know who will win that. Well, if Georgia does beat Michigan... I might consider them. I might give them a chance to beat Alabama, but who knows? It's likely going to be Alabama versus Michigan. But, unfortunately, the college football committee, they don't want two teams from the same conference playing each other in the semis. So they said, up, oh, Alabama 1 and Georgia 3 instead of. Four. Um, so they can avoid the two teams from the same conference, in this case the SEC, playing each other in the semis. They want to wait till National Championship Day to do that. Which, of course, I hope doesn't happen. But, only time will tell. Only time will tell, folks. Truthfully, I believe the college football committee is 100% pro-SEC. Which, it seems like the SEC team always wins the college football playoffs. Every year, Clemson doesn't win it. It's always... It's always the SEC team, usually Alabama, or Clemson. This is why I've been pushing for an eight-team college football playoffs. This way, there were more teams from other conferences, and we we probably have um, Baylor... Big 12 champions Baylor in the college football playoffs and Ohio State. I know everybody probably complained about Ohio State being in it, but hey, who cares? And honestly, I refuse to believe the news that when they say the 
NCAA is looking at expanding the college football playoffs to an 18 playoff. I refuse to believe that news. I believe they just say that to please the fans, make the fans happy. They, they don't look at it. And then they just say, yeah, we said we looked at it, but we didn't really. And then they just stick with four. Anybody from the NCAA listening and watching this video? Please get an 18 playoff going next year. Please. I will be so grateful and the entire college football co entire college football fan base will be so grateful. But Drew, you ask, what about the number nine and ten teams? Yeah. What about them? They don't get to play. Yeah. So you gotta prove yourself. If you don't make it, too bad. And I know there's some people that are gonna whine about the number nine team not making it. Look. I took too long with that pause. I'm sorry. I'm just fed up with with the SEC teams and Clemson having it so easy. It needs to be challenging. Challenge the teams that are in the college football playoffs. Make it hard for them. Otherwise, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are we having college football playoff anyway? It stinks. Alright, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. Um, thank you for watching so much. Um, and I will see you probably later. Yeah, later. I will see you probably in January. Until then, stay safe. Stay warm, have a safe Christmas season, and I will see you in January, folks.